Hi, it's good morning, good day. This is the African Crypto Warlord. Hope you guys are doing well. Today we're going to be looking at Ethereum USDT. And just to give you a quick overview, I'm going to make it big. I'm going to switch some shit off. And what are we looking at? These dots are the new weekly mean. All right. That line up here, 1637, where we've just rejected from, is the new daily mean. So I'm just going to say this now. Uh, if I was in a trade, I'd be pretty much shorting this region into buying into this region um, and if we have a reverse wave trend in between that makes life a little harder so you can scalp it halfway down okay, just so you can see what is happening but what we're going to do we're going to do a full ethereum analysis all right so the source says that you ethereum failure point if it stays below 1741 you're going to look for continuations per downside. If it breaks above 1741, the first target to stop it is 1804. Okay. Currently, we have some expansion to the upside. It's starting to get sloppy chips, so it's not going to hit as hard. We've got to look for things that are going to back the long term play that looks like it could want to form here. Um, but anything above 1431, still bullish, hidden bull dev, bull dev can form. Um, more so, 1804 is looking pretty good for a new trend. Down here is 1073. Across that bridge when we get there. All right. Now, what can we see? This is the 14 day. So 14 day posturing is very, very decent for um, Ethereum, considering the rest of the market is not looking as sexy as what this is looking like on the 14 day. General idea is to to have the long term trend kick up. BTC Ethereum just needs to close above uh, ultimate power mean at 1587. Furthermore, 1538. So not to be zealous, but it needs to keep up at 1538. If it can do that under negative drift, which is starting to kick in now, which is stopping it from pumping. If it can do that, you can look for some good continuation. If it fails 1538, just look for a quick target at 1340. Alright, somewhere or even halfway, we'll see how strong it is on the dumper room. Now, let me switch those off. What can we see here? This is the seven day. A little bit of confusion is coming through the book. So we're gonna have to throw on some other indicators. And that guy, and your general idea being is, as uh, so this is on seven day, as Ethereum starts to close below 1662, look for a target at 1583. Fails here, huge liquidity in this region. What I will do is make a big ass motherfucking oval, all right? Because that will be tested. Maybe not today, mm, but we'll have a looky see. That is a point of huge liquidity at 13.72. All right, mean reversion to the downside, looking for a trend. Currently it's sideways. All right, and we just started that, I think. All right, so now we're on the five day. So what can we see by a five day? Five day is the same thing as Bitcoin, all right? Now, if it holds, I mean, and yeah, and uh, only Bitcoin. If it holds above the five day mean, you can look for continuation to 20, for two, to $2,447. If you look for mean reversion play to the downside, you're looking at $1,155. All right, that's the three day expansion. I um, mean, increasing, positively correlated, whilst contracting volatility tells me there's negative drift. This is the same thing that we saw in the three day with regards to BTC. It's being hung up below the orange line. Your mean reversion play that does look like it's wanting to build some steam here just got slapped by a bear, bear div. All right, and that's just because PC broke into, say, engaged negative drift. What are we going to look for? Seeing as the 14-day has got some good posturing, we need to look for things that are going to keep it above this 14-day target, which is over here. We will say this cross, 1532. All right, so we're going to look for things that can keep it above 1532. Currently, not these time frames, not the 24-hour. We're looking to mean revert to the downside. When it's red, it's red. When it's green, it's green. So failure below 16.27, easily going to get you to 15.98. All right, that's on the 24-hour range, looking for mean reversion through. So how would I trade this? I would say if this candle closes below the mean over here, that's a slow trade. If it closes below the mean over here, sell. Otherwise, I'd be in the short right now uh, from the JMA down and managing my risk in this region. A lot easier if it does get to the orange line um, and it wants to work back. I'm up in this region. Anyway, now contraction positively correlated sort of moving into sideways posturing here so you're going to look for some expansion now if it expands and it turns these around this is going to be quite a confusing play there's a blue flash bull dev 
Okay, so the 12 hours says if it holds above 1625, you'll definitely sink this bull bear. And its power, I would say, if these stay up, so under expansion and positive drip, get you back to 1627. All right, now we are on to the six hour. Six hour is mean reverting and it's mean reverting back towards its mean. Okay, so we see the RO perfect hit its outlier. General trend is starting to increase to the upside. Positive drift is coming in. This makes me feel a little bit more confident for 1648. If it holds above there with the clean signatures that are coming through the book, a good rush up to 1665. If it starts to fail below this JMA, or as long as this as this red line that's flicked green, if it crosses through this line over here, dumperoo, goodbye. We'll go look for targets later on. All right, uh, we can look for targets right here. If it dumps through there, you're looking at 1573. All right, now we're into the three hours. Three hours mean reverted to the upside, hit its outlier. So what are we expecting here for follow through? I would expect on the three hour, the next candle to close above the mean to look for continuation to get it to, let's say, 1650, 55, right? There's a cross, a lot of liquidity up here at 1658. So let's see if there's people to, to, to be scared out. Even here's another liquidity cross. All right, so mean reversion play on the 90 minute is confirming through, got nailed by negative drift. So that's what faded it as soon as it got to the other side of the reverse wave trend. This is not so healthy. I think a little, I think about Fuck, six hours, 12 hours worth of resolution in this range, maybe. Um, if it is bullish, if not, we'll know quite shortly if the bears can can damn Peru it. So this is the 45 minute. Um, also again, a lot of sideways. We've just come into our daily mean. If I was to say the key points to be watching for is this range from 1642, all right, down to 1624. Now if we were to go up, it's a 1% move, all right. Well done, it's ready in Ethereum now. So it's a 1% move, that is your current range. If it fails this range, you're looking for 1607. If it breaks this range, you're looking for 1668. All right. Um, what we will see is maybe another little flush up to 1638. And when these two cross, we'll look for the pullback into 1629. Uh, 1629 is the top side of the weekly reverse. I mean, is the top side of the VRE level on the weekly the first outlier so this is coming through expansions the downside we're going to look for some follow through at least to the mean over here a very important level um, we can see quite a lot of data in this section so i don't expect ethereum to absolutely lose it to the downside quite easily as there's some nice ranges here there's some nice previous data to keep ethereum stuck in this just call it 50 dollars just call it 70 dollar range all right and we will look from there I hope this was helpful. If you do find it helpful, please do like and subscribe. 1431, 1804, and $1,070. That is your range. You break out of these two. You're looking for a good Christmas or a, a good Christmas or a very sad Christmas. I hope that was helpful. African Crypto Warlord, out.